Hello YouTube, it's Pureblade XD here for for a um, my, my first video ever. Today I will be playing some zombies on Call of Duty Black Ops, and I will be playing each and every map in one video. First I'll be doing Notch Dura Totin, then I'll be doing Grut, then Shinonuma, then Doris, and then I'll start with the Black Ops Nazi zombies. But, um, yeah, so, I'm going to attempt to get into the high rounds. I, I can't promise you, like, I'm not one of those sin syndicate people who, like, survive to round 50 every time. I might survive to, uh, maybe round 10 or so, but I'm going to try. Try, okay, so. And, um, please, like, I'm new to YouTube, so please, if my videos aren't that good, please, please. Do not like post negative comments or stuff. Like it'll really help me if you can post if you can post stuff for me to improve my videos. Don't put, please don't put me down. I'm like this is my second video, my first video, and please I really would appreciate it if you if you help me um if you help me play. So first I'll be doing Notch Dream Token and um so. Yeah, it's gonna be my first time, my first video. And I'll be doing it on solo, on solo mode, so please, you know, tell me ways I can improve my gaming and stuff. Okay, just Are you kidding? Thank you. Here's me look at the only perk in this whole map. It's pretty sad. I hate how they do that. But it is the first map in this. Man, I really would prefer recording this on, on World at War instead of Black Ops so I can get the... Even though this place is the Thunder Gun, I personally would like to try the M2 Flamethrower because this is my first Call of Duty game ever. Because I'm only like, I'm like 12 years old. So, yeah. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna be going, taking. I'm gonna be taking the upstairs path. I'm not gonna go straight to the mystery box. I'm gonna be taking the upstairs path, trying to rack up a few points. Yeah. My strategy for round one, a, a lot of people do this is shoot three times, stab. Shoot three times, stab. It works pretty good because you get 160 points out of the kills. And like, like it's pretty useful. Or if there's too many, if there's too many zombies, then I just like stab and stab one hit. Stab. Cause round one is like insta kill with my. Now there is a rumor that on Shinonuma, I think it's still. I, I'm not sure if that was only in World at War or if it still works in Black Ops, but in Shinonuma, it's after you pass round, I think, 208, like, it's insta-kill. Every, like, it's automatically insta-kill for every round. After you pass round 208, I believe it is. But yeah, I won't be getting that high of a round until way later in my Call of Duty experience, because I'm new to Call of Duty, and this is my first Call of Duty game, and I'm new to zombies actually. I started playing about a month ago. So yeah. But I like it. It's fun. I mean yeah. Also I'm gonna be also doing some online in the future. Online multiplayer, but I'm gonna warn you, I am not the best player. I'm just gonna be doing it for fun. I'm not gonna be doing it for like like um like telling you uh, I'm, and let's just say that my radio isn't always good on online. It's kind of bad in my ratio. Like I, I am pretty bad at online. But like I said, it's my first Call of Duty game, and um, uh, I don't think um, I think like Modern Warfare Three is gonna come out and stuff. So I think that Infinity War. I think that I'm gonna like Infinity War's Call of Duty better than Treyarch's. Because Treyarch like has a lot of flaws in the Call of Duty games. Like, 
I don't like Treyarch's Call of Duty that much, but hey, it's Call of Duty. The only thing I kind of like about Treyarch's Call of Duty is the zombies. The multiplayer isn't that great for me. But I think um, Infinity Ward, my first game, my first Infinity Ward game is going to be Modern Warfare 3. And I also, I'm going to be doing some Battlefield in the future, but not until probably around January, Battlefield 3. Because I've, I've played beta. The beta closed actually this week, which stinks because I love that game. And I'll be doing some of that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm better at that game than I am at Call of Duty. So, yeah. I'll be trying that game out. And take them all with me. Yeah, what the heck was that? Sawed off shotgun. Wow, we got a gun that can't buy. Okay, well, since I have no money or just no, no, no. Oh my god, grip, sweet. Oh my god, this thing looks so epic. It doesn't look epic, but it looks pretty cool. It has a grip and everything. It's pretty easy, it's pretty light, and yeah. Oh my god, it's like a double barrel shotgun. Oh, this is a double barrel shotgun, it's just with a smaller barrel. Oh man, I love the double barrel shotgun. Okay, well, I've already found a gun that I like for this game. I actually love this gun, it's pretty epic. I love it, it's pretty cool. Oh, they think they could kill me. Too bad for them, they're dead. Collateral. Do not get this! Like, if you have, like, a ray gun or a thunder gun or something, do not open that cabinet. I made the biggest mistake. I had a, a ray gun. Like, my first time playing this game, I had a ray gun, and then I opened that cabinet, and my, I had my ray gun out, and when I opened it, it switched my ray gun for um, an M1 Cabrine, I think it was, with a scope. Do not, like, if you want to open it, make sure you have your... Colt M1911 out, because if you open that thing with a very good gun, it'll switch out your good gun with the, with a very horrible gun. So yeah, it's not that... Yeah, I really like this sawed-off double barrel shot. It's really, really helpful. I mean, I don't know, this is my first time coming through the upstairs path, and, yeah, it's really, really good. But, although, it's kind of curious, I mean, who would saw off a double barrel shotgun? Oh, so, pretty cool. Special camo. Just Where is it? It's pretty cool, it's like a powerful gun, it's really powerful. I like it. Alright. Also, sometimes... What the heck was that? It just, like, blew up. Anyway. Also, some of my videos, I'll be talking, like, randomly about Modern Warfare 3 and stuff. So, like, I'm gonna... Right now, since I have nothing else to talk about, I'm just gonna talk about Modern Warfare 3. So, I've been doing some research and stuff. And Modern Warfare 3, they're gonna be bringing back, like, Secondary machine pistols and stuff, and the SPAS-12 is going to be pump action. But it's really crazy because there's this um, attachment for the SPAS-12 called range, and right now, if you use range, it's possible to get a long shot with that. Okay, I hope that they patch that, because that is like, too, if, if, it's, if they keep it like that, if they, I... I hope that they they pay and they maintain Modern Warfare 3 more than they maintain Modern Warfare 2. Because Modern Warfare 2, they only did two patches and they left everything. Like the pre like I'm not sure if this is real or not, but I think there's the Predator missile glitch where like you break the map and the noob tube. And then there's also like lobbies, lobbies that are hacked, like hacked lobbies. And like, there's a hack that you you use the noob tube. The noob tube is like unlimited grenades and rapid fire. It's really noobish. Like, so yeah, I hope that they they pay more close attention to Modern Warfare 3 than Modern Warfare 2. So yeah.
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> open his door now. Cause this leads to the box. The box. I have no ammunition. So yeah. And oh, lucky day. day. Not lucky day, but this is Thompson. Yeah, Thompson. What the heck? Wow. Whatever. I have the sawed off double barrel shotgun. What? I'm a midget shotgun, and you're not. And there's like what? That's all the doors you can open. Seriously? Where are the more doors? No, that can't be all the doors. Wow, this map is little. And again, it is the first zombie map, so, yeah. I'm gonna try buying a Thompson later, because I need a faster gun than this. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! No! Sorry. It's just that I am... Um, so I told you before, I'm not that good of a zombies player, so yeah. Um, I'll be trying to do it again in another video, but for now, I'll be signing off. So peace out, YouTube, and hope you like my video. So please like and subscribe, and yeah. Tell me how I can improve my videos anyway. And I'll see you, I'll see you next time with videos of Zombies Verdict. Peace out.